Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This video is about Pampa assay, also called Parallel Artificial Membrane Permeability assay. Pampa is used as an in vitro model of passive transcellular permeation. Pampa avoids the complexities of active transport, allowing test compounds to be ranked based on a simple permeability property alone. The ability of this assay to evaluate permeability over a large pH range is valuable for an early understanding of how new oral compounds might be absorbed across the entire gastrointestinal tract. So it's a method which determines the permeability of substances from a donor compartment through a lipid infused artificial membrane into an acceptor compartment. A multi-well microtitter plate is used for the donor and a membrane or acceptor compartment is placed on top. The whole assembly is referred as a sandwich. At the beginning of the test, the drug is added to the donor compartment and the acceptor compartment is drug free. After an incubation period, which may include stewing, the sandwich is separated and the amount of drug is measured in each compartment. Then, mass balance allows calculation of drug that remains in the membrane. Procedure The procedure is performed in five steps. First is preparation of required solutions. So, prepare target analyte typically from a stock concentration in DMSO to a dilution of 1 to 10 micromolar in 1x PBS buffer at pH 7.4 and 5% DMSO. Next solution is 1% less ethane in Dodigan solution. Sonicate the mixture until the contents are mixed. Second step is preparation of membrane plates. So, with the help of a pipette, 5 microliter of 1% lecithin or dodecane is gently dispensed onto the donor plate membrane. Loading of sample plates Using a multi channel pipette, 300 microliter each of PBS and DMSO are dispensed into the acceptor plate wells. Similarly, 150 microliter of the analyte is transferred into the donor plate wells. Assay running The whole assembly of mixtures is gently transferred to a moist chamber. Keep it for 10 to 20 hours. Transfer 100 microliter from each well to a labeled 96 well plate for HPLC MS injection. Analyze all the samples within 24 to 48 hours after running the assay. Now, there are different models of PAMPA. Original PAMPA The lipid solution consists of 10% lecithin in Todigain. DOPC PAMPA The lipid solution consists of 2% DOPC in Todigain. HDM PAMPA the lipid solution is 100% hexadecane. Biometric or BM PAMPA The lipid solution consists of a mixture of phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylethanolamine, phosphatidylinositol, phosphatidylserine and cholesterol in an organic solvent. Double sink or TS PAMPA The lipid solution consists of 20% tolecane solution of a phospholipid mixture and the acceptor solution contains a surfactant mixture. This was all. Thanks for watching.